My name is Sofia, Sofia Ben Alfa. I'm the executive director of Ethiopian community in Seattle, and I've been working in this capacity for the organization for uh, three and a half years now. The organization uh, was established in the early 1980s, and back then the major purpose of the organization was uh, to support immigrants from Ethiopia as they try to find their way here in a new country. So it's helping them to find jobs, uh, to find uh, housing services, uh, uh, health services, whatever you need uh, to live in a new country. So that's how it started. And uh, the culture of the organization is rooted in volunteering. So people who came earlier supported those who came after them. Uh, so generational wealth um, can be, you know, the financial wealth that can be passed on from generation to generation, and it can include, you know, property, stocks, uh, and so on, just the financial assets uh, that can pass on from family to family along generations. But when we come to our community, um, it kind of gets complicated because we are immigrants. Uh, so um, many in the community start from scratch when, we, when they move from uh, their country to a new country. So it's not only about financial wealth, uh, but it's also about uh, not having the connections that can help you um, grow or thrive in a community. So uh, that, that's also one of the major reasons why we depend on each other and you know, on those who came first uh, because they have figured out how to move um, in the circle or you know, how to navigate the complex uh, web of social services. Uh, hi, my name is Sege Desta. I'm a program director here at the Ethiopian community in Seattle. I um, lead the Ethiopian Village Project on behalf of ECS. The Ethiopian Village Project is, uh, has three objectives. It's uh, renovating the existing Ethiopian community building, um, expanding it into the first floor of the residential building, as well as building 90 units of affordable housing for seniors. About seven years ago, um, there was a, due to the high uh, rent in Seattle, our members, especially seniors, were, being, uh, were moving out of the city because they couldn't afford to live within the city and they were gentrified. So the um, existing ECS leaders at the time and uh, community members decided to do affordable housing within the, within the Seattle limits so that these seniors could stay within uh, the city and not leave their uh, families, not leave their community, their churches or mosques. Community members went down to Olympia, including seniors, to present their cases to officials. And those officials that were um, uh, that focused on uh, providing uh, support for affordable housing heard them. There were several fundraisings that uh, happened and including seniors were uh, participated in that process as well. And both public and private grants were raised. Uh, several community discussions were held by the architect and community members voiced their opinion of what they want to, the village to look like. Here we are today with uh, it is expected that the village is going to be completed in April of 2023. The community has been working on this for the last um, seven years. Uh, and uh, with the groundbreaking, there is a huge excitement in the community. Uh, and people are really, really fo looking forward to its completion. Uh, it will have 90 units. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that's big for us. Uh, there are, of course, there are many more in the community who are, um, you know, facing housing problems. Uh, but still, um, for us to be able to be part of the housing solution is great. And yeah, there is generally an excitement in the community that, uh, you know, this is turning into a reality. So in the future, we want to um, grow more into the advocacy space uh, because we have seen um, that uh, you know, there are different ways of approaching the same problem. Uh, and um, while we, while we um, can be engaged in uh, building a few units, uh, there is still a huge, huge problem of housing uh, 
uh, that's affecting our community. The same with health. Um, while we support um, hundreds to access health, there is still, you know, thousands and thousands who are still having um, problems to access health services. So uh, we want to work with uh, similar organizations in the advocacy space to see what's really the root causes of the problems, what's, um, what can we do collectively to, you know, to look at the policies that are holding people back.